If anyone ever says a tropical drink has to have rum, they've never tried a Hali Kalani. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making a Hali Kalani cocktail, or rather I'm making Shannon Mustafer's version of the Hali Kalani cocktail. Now, if you're not familiar, the Hali Kalani was first invented in the Hali Kalani Hotel in Hawaii, but Shannon Mustafer, who is a great cocktail maker, and you should check out some of her recipes, she kind of developed the recipe a little bit and added some new ingredients to really round out the drink. And if you look up a Hali Kalani cocktail, most likely you're actually gonna see her version of the cocktail, which is more rounded. And I think the consensus is that it's just a better version of the drink. So what goes into the cocktail to make it that much better? Well, we're gonna start off with overproof bourbon. Now, overproof just means any bourbon or any whiskey or alcohol that is over 100 proof. So we're using Wild Turkey 101. 101 meaning it is 101 proof, so it is an overproof bourbon. Just barely, but it is an overproof bourbon. We'll also be using some orange juice, pineapple juice, lemon juice, brown sugar syrup, grenadine and Angostura bitters to really round out the cocktail. Now, that is a lot of ingredients to go into a cocktail, but the ratio is pretty simple. It is pretty straightforward. And once you kind of get it in your head, you can make these cocktails very easily. But if you do want to see someone struggle to make a Halle Kalani cocktail, you should check out the video we put out on Monday where Rose tried and failed to recreate a Halle Kalani without a recipe. But we're here today to make a real one. So let's make a cocktail. It is a shaken drink, so we're gonna get a shaker tin and we're gonna pop a nice rock of ice into there and then we're gonna measure out our ingredients. We're gonna start with our overproof bourbon. I'm using wild turkey, but you could use anything out there that you want as long as it is overproof. So this is 45 mil or one and a half ounces of overproof bourbon. And then we're gonna go in with the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna start off with our juices. This is orange juice and it is half an ounce or 15 mil of freshly squeezed orange juice in there and we're going to follow it up with the same amount so half an ounce 15 ml of pineapple juice and then half an ounce or 15 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice as well this kind of helps keep the cocktail nice and balanced without any of the ingredients overpowering each other we we'll then go in with demerara brown sugar syrup this is 15 ml again half an ounce of the brown sugar syrup into there and then we're going to go in with a bar spoon of grenadine this is going to give us a nice bit of color and a nice little bit of flavor without really overpowering the cocktail so that's a bar spoon or about five mil of grenadine in there and then lastly we're going to go in with one nice big dash of angostura bitters to really round out the cocktail and then we pop the lid on and shake it down for about 10 to 15 seconds just to get it nice and cold Okay, that is nicely chilled, so we're gonna get ready to strain this out. So we're gonna get a nice chilled coupe glass and we are gonna double strain this cocktail because we did use a lot of freshly squeezed juices, so there are gonna be some bits, some pulp in there, and we do want a nice clean presentation. So we're just gonna double strain this into there. And look at that, that is a very nice, very clean presentation on the cocktail. And that right there is how you make a Halle Kalani cocktail. Now real quick, before I taste this cocktail, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out cocktail recipes like this on Fridays and whiskey reviews on Wednesdays. So if you wanna see more, make sure you hit subscribe. Cheers. Oh, that's so good. This is a very nice, rich, sweet, balanced cocktail. Normally, if you use orange juice in a cocktail, it can be an overpowering ingredient. It can really just dominate the drink. But here, by using the same amount of pineapple juice and lemon juice and using the sugar syrup, we just round it out and let you taste the orange juice without it overpowering the drink. The bourbon is also nice and present. It is 45 mil, but because we used an overproof bourbon, it does have a nice bit of presence, a nice bit of weight. Wild Turkey is a very nice cocktail bourbon. It's just a really good staple to have in a bar. Delivers a lot of flavor while not being dominant. It just lets you taste 
the bourbon without overpowering the cocktail. And that's really the tale of this cocktail. It is a lot of ingredients, but they all work really well together. They all balance each other out. You can taste the pineapple, you can taste the lemon, you can taste the brown sugar sweetness, you can taste the bourbon, the little bit of grenadine is in there, adding a bit of a kind of a floral, fruity note to it. And then the bitters just helps round everything out. It just keeps everything really well, and really well balanced. So I'm gonna keep on enjoying this balanced cocktail and I will see you next time. Slaunch it.